scheduled 12 rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Oh, what a whiff by Mike Tyson. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Mike Tyson's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. Scores up top with a left. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Halfway through round number one. Tyson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. A well-placed overhand right. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Good right hand. Tyson's hit by a counter punch there. Comes right back at him with a left. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. He just missed that shot up top. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Solid left hand to the head. The Brown Bombers inability to really step on that gas pedal a bit, just be a little more offensive minded is really catching up with him. That last round was unimpressive. It's just not his temperament. And you know what? I'm afraid it's not going to change right now. It's kind of like being in a room, being in a party with somebody, and you say, hey, come on, talk a little bit more. You know, everybody else is talking. It's just not his way. He's not a talker. This guy is not a busy fighter. Okay. Now I need to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Keep moving. Keep Able to moving. cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Jump on him, jump on him right now. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Let's talk about the persona of a prime Mike Tyson for a moment here because this is a guy that comes down to the ring wearing nothing but black trunks, black shoes, and maybe occasionally a torn towel over his head and he's already in a full sweat. He gives you the impression that he's in mid-fight and the fight's not gonna last much longer. No, no, he gives you the impression he wants to give you. That you're in there with a guy that is a, you know, dark reaper, a guy that is Darth Vader a guy that's gonna hurt you. He gives you just the impression he wants to give you. He's scared. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, thunderous right hand floors him. One, two, three, four, five. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. One, two, one, two. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. 
And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing I do is I sit him down. I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense. I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. As soon as you stop moving, he throws that power. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. That right hand over the top lands flush. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Solid straight right hand. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Locks that punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Brown Bomber. See that coming. Let's go. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. Good smooth work by Mike Tyson. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back. Gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Mike Tyson's clearly found something that he likes, and it's that uppercut on the inside. Yeah, what he needs to find is something on top of it, though, because the head comes up, or when the head's up, put a couple right on top. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Okay, pay him back. The Brown Bomber's trying to get his man off of him. You see him shoving and pushing. And round three comes to an end. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Beautiful, beautiful. I want another round exactly like that. This is... The Brown Bombers' power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, he's up two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. Keep working the body. Able to dismiss it. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Brown Bomber so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating Hello. night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. If you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Teddy, is it raw skill? Is it technique? What's the answer for him? Why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here? It's forgetting about the idea. The idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch. You have to have a plan to land it. You know, you have to have a missile to get it to the target. Otherwise, what does it do? Just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. Ah, 
How about that Let left hand? Go. He missed with that headshot. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. All right. All right, you are dominating this fight. Keep it up and keep doing exactly what you're doing, baby. You need to cover up, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, listen to me. You're not working. You're not working on anything we worked on. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Uppercut. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Punch. And Punch. now he scores with that left to the body. Scored well up top. Tyson's punch is far off the target. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Just hugging there. Halfway through this round here. Smart jab by Mike Tyson. Relax, relax. To the head he goes with a left hand. Tyson's not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. He's tired, he's tired, champ. Come on, now's your chance. Big left hand from Iron Mike. A little head hunting with the right. Right hand downstairs. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Keep boxing smart. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing. to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. You're not focusing. Not able to land the uppercut. Blocked. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Good way to protect the midsection. The Brown Bomber showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. And he returns on that exchange. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Mike Tyson, good use of the jab. Go 
goes up top with the right hand. Hit the body, baby. Body blow. Back to the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And round six comes to an end. Tyson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Don't fight going backwards, right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your feet. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. The Brown Bombers coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight clearly has him out way in front on the scorecards. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys don't do good when they're way out in front because they start letting up a little bit. They start taking things for granted. That is probably the only thing that could be an enemy of him right now. Able to time that left hand and score with it. The Brown Bombers showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Falls victim to that big pull. Solid. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Tyson's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Come on, throw punches now. You got power. Use it. Come on. We're losing this fight. Okay, now come on, come on now, you can do this. You can do this. Now I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? Now let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart now, champ. Come on now, hands up. Start of round number eight. The Brown Bombers in good position. If you look at your scorecard, Teddy, you've got them up slightly, but still a lot of this fight to go. Yeah, you don't become a champion by just winning halfway through. That is the testing of a champion. That's the testing of a top professional fighter. Keep it up, keep that concentration. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. The Brown Bombers giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now just so... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Grab him. Hold on. Hold him. Hold him. Pulls the 
trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Wow, what an uppercut. Keep moving. Back to the body. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Just misses with that headshot. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round. And you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? I need more than one punch now. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Fires right back at him. Wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done. Tyson's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.